Hello there, welcome to this video on the bossa nova rhythm. I'm going to give you one exercise which was really going to help you get it down. Bossa nova rhythm has got nothing to do with the piano, it's more of a guitar thing, it's a rhythm, it's a groove, it's a feeling. But you know, we can do it on here if you want to accompany yourself or somebody else and at least just feel the rhythm so that you can play any repertoire that has that rhythm. So the technique is this, you are going to, I'll do it in the key of F because the two songs I'd like to show you after are in the key of F. And it goes like this. You're first of all going to get this down first. This is not bossa nova rhythm. This is step one. You're just going to simply go like this. And we're going to develop. You're going to see how this makes sense. If you can just get that down, you're playing one five octave, five back down again. About this speed. But we can talk about tempo later. Now, what you're going to do with the right hand, while that's happening, is, again, to get the bossa nova rhythm. This is the technique to get you to it. You're going to take the simple triad and you're going to do this and you're going to do two notes per every one. So that's just getting it down first but not yet bossa nova. So you're going to go like this, you've got the left hand and the right hand's going to do one, three and five every two notes for every one left hand. So in a straight, there's no bossa nova yet. That is it. If you can get that down, that's kind of 50% of the job done. So practice that first. You can move around, you can personalize it in different keys, etc, etc. But that's the basic idea. Fantastic. Now, um, with the left hand never changes. The bossa nova, that kind of pulse is very strict. It's not like swinging, like in jazz, where you have all these off beats. And you can just kind of j jazz it around. It's not like that at all. It's a very strict, different kind of bass lines you can do. I'll give you some links below also. Uh, for you to go and listen to Bossa Nova. Now what you're going to do is you need to get this rhythm down but I'm going to show you on one note first and you're going to apply that rhythm to the to this little chord. So this is the next step. So forget the left hand, you're just going to feel this rhythm and it will make sense when the left hand comes in. So it starts on beat one. So you just have to get that pulse down. Now again, you don't play bossa nova on the piano. It's a feeling, it's a groove. This is just getting the groove into your bones so that you, so that you can play around it when you're actually playing. So. And there's different tiny variations, but it's basically like that. So let's just do that with this left hand and the right hand only playing that one note. I'll do it really slowly. It's called slow bossa. Of course, you can do it fast as well. three times at the end or just twice like I did or you can even hold it down that's where the variation starts to come in but get it something like this play the F there so that's the idea now if you can put that in the right hand that's great that's what you want to do so forget the left hand for now you want to get this feeling notice how I am holding it down longer Now, if you want to keep doing it without going back to F, because that's the end of the idea, that's the end of the sort of rhythm structure. You can go back to the F and start again, or you can start it from the C and keep going, and then you'll you'll do it once from there, and you'll start again on F like this. And you continue, and you'll start again. So I'll just do it with the left hand now, but it never changes. So. to the beginning if you can get that down that's the technical exercise there's nothing else to it of course you can listen to lots and you'll hear slight variations but that is the core 90 percent of the time kind of rhythm so it's a really sort of shuffly lilty kind of rhythm it's hard to put words to it now now that you've got that inside you can start to sort of take it a bit further I don't want to make the video too long too complicated or too overwhelming but once you've got that down from doing it straight and then applying that rhythm and then doing it with a chord open chord uh, you can do a bit less in the left hand you can just play one and five that's quite a common thing to do if you want to do it rhythmically of course you can even do it as a stride like when you when you are feeling it inside 
do that later with the uh, repertoire I want to show you. So let's just get used to going like this. And again, there's other rhythms. You can kind of go twice. You can do, there's all different variations, but the basic concept is literally that. That you feel inside. So let's just do it with a chord this time, with only one and five. Now a nice chord, which is very common, is the six slash nine chord. The way to find that is you play a six chord, and you move the root up to the, what well is the second, but technically the ninth in this is a voicing, for the six slash nine chord. So you're gonna kind of do it. See if you can do it without the left hand involved. Maybe I'll do it up here, it's a bit better. Oh, down here's quite nice. So even if you just sort of do this, on the piano, it doesn't matter, you just want, or just tap your foot, just feel it inside. That's it, so now let's do it with the left hand. That's the idea, isn't that really exciting? It's really, really interesting. Uh, now, let me just show you two examples with that rhythm in a very famous song, Girl from Ipanema, I'll play the first part of that and my favorite bossa nova song which is called wave uh, so let's just uh, play the melody i'll just show you the melody of uh girl from ipanema quite simple it's not a tutorial for the song i have one already actually in the old video but just i want you to feel that i'm portraying the bossa nova rhythm while i play the melody because there's just something inside that comes out which enables me to physically play the notes when i need to holding them down longer or playing them quickly which somehow portrays that bossa nova you know, rhythm. So it goes, um, st it just starts on beat one. Um, yeah. So one, so let me just get the introduction. Yeah. I was going to the other song. Right, go. So I'm playing that with that with hearing the chords, and I'll just play the chords and imagine the melody. So it's just it's just coming through somehow. Uh, the other song I like is uh, Wave, and it goes like this, it goes... <laughs> See, I'm feeling the rhythm. So all the time I'm hearing it, now I'll just do it with the chords, so it's going to go... do it together it goes um, you'll feel the rhythm again it goes uh So it's just coming through with whatever I'm doing. Even you can do my infamous uh, demonstration song, Fly Me to the Moon, with that feeling. I won't do the melody, I'll just do the chords, but imagine you're hearing the melody and it's gonna go. That's the idea. So if I just do the rhythm only, uh, the, the melody only, and you can feel the rhythm.
you can just feel that rhythm coming through and it's different every single time but going back to that very very basic exercise of uh, um, I'm doing it with a higher octave this time, let's do it with a triad just get that down and then somehow that comes through in anything that you play See, I'm even doing it with a stride there, but you might call it like, I don't know, uh, the a lazy stride, a sort of half stride, because I'm not kind of going like really, really quickly like that. I'm just playing it on like whenever I, whenever I want to. So hopefully uh, all of that has... Uh, Given you something to play with, something you need to practice, to master with that simple technical exercise that you can then apply to any repertoire. I also recommend looking at some drum tutorials and listening to a lot of Bossa Nova in its original form. I've got some links below and hopefully that will help you. And you can hear the sort of different bass lines that are possible and how the guitar is strumming and of course the drummer. But it's all basically what I've talked about here. Something to build on at least. So there you go. As always, likes, comments, subscriptions are welcome. Have a look at my video management website, Water Peanism Syllabus, Pass Patreon, and I will see you in the next video. All the best, and bye for now.